Damn, stoner. That's Harry. This is an impromptu video. I just, uh, I, I don't know. It's for no reason at all, I guess. Except for everybody. Um, I want to talk about a couple albums real quick. Um, one that I recently got. And, uh, you know, I decided to go to a different spot because since back there, that's where I usually do the videos, getting kind of tired of getting hit in the head. And the only way I'm going to get hit on the head is if this ceiling falls. Yeah. This is another view of my music room. It's not really organized at all. Nothing around here is organized at all. So I'll give you a real quick look around. It's, it's a mess, man. It's not only a music room, but it's laundry, so. Little turn. You know, up there's some of my albums are up there in those boxes. Turn around. Some of my sound system. My lint cover speakers. And we're back. And also, have you ever wanted to be an album? Let's try it. It's good, Harry. And hopefully it won't fall. So, here we go. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. Yeah, I'm just messing with you guys. I think it's about right. Uh, I just want to have a little fun, man. You know, tired. You know, after my last video, I was I was not in the best shape yesterday. So, um, apologize for that. I I got up at four thirty. You know, because the time change and stuff and. I didn't get, I had trouble sleeping that night before because I was so excited about going out digging and I didn't get to sleep till almost 2 o'clock and I got up at 4, 4.30 and I was gone by 5.30. So, it is what it is. Also, I'm going to talk, you know, where I went on Sunday, okay, Lewisburg. Well, and right next to, next to it is a town called Milton. There was supposed to, there was a flea market in Milton. I was told, told, so I went in, I went to the flea market. There was a guy there that had some really nice albums. I mean, VG plus to near mint. But the starting price, and around the average price, was 40 bucks. These were all used. And they went from 40 bucks up to 110. Uh, I saw one, <laughs> I saw one. These, now, remember, these are all used. I saw one as a Partridge family. When you can see, what? Every flea market, every thrift shop, 10 bucks. And the guy goes, oh, they're all half price. Well, I'm not paying 55 bucks for an album. Or twenty like 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 that. So, and you don't know exactly what condition they're in. I mean, they might look good, but you play playing them, you just you skip all over the place. But anyway, I want to talk about a couple albums real quick. Uh, remember we showed this one, Backwater. Well, I found out. Yeah, I know it's split. Blah blah blah. Uh, that these guys, this is Backwater is, is this is made in 1976 and these guys are um, it's sort of like Jazz Fusion uh, it's a good album it's really good um, is it uh, insert you can tell that's hand drawn 
And these are the song titles, credits. This is all hand drawn. It's actually, you know, it's actually the inner sleeve. No, oh, it's an insert. <laughs> I fooled you. Let me get back here. Here we go. You're in the way. I know you're not. But it's Jazz Fusion. Uh, they only sing on three tracks on this. One side of the album is the studio. Is recorded in, at uh, New England. Uh, was it New England? New England Recording Center in Birmingham, Alabama, uh, March to August, nineteen seventy-six. Oh, that was a good year <laughs> for me. That was a good year. And the other side is the live side. It was, it was recorded at uh, Midnight's Voice on uh, July fifteenth, nineteen seventy-six. In Birmingham, Alabama. I mean, like everything is all handwritten. Uh, there's only four guys in the band, and they sound phenomenal. Uh, there's a guitarist, a, a bassist. Um, I, a I, um, uh, guy plays a rose piano. Another guy uh, plays the bass and does the vocals. Um, saxophones, percussion. And, um, I'll give you the names. I'm, I'm being stupid. Um, Trippy Thompson plays the Rhodes. Ruby Catlin, bass vocal. Larry Harden, saxes and percussion. And Scott Peterson, or Patterson. Patterson, I'm sorry. Patterson, uh, drums and vocals. It's a great album. It actually is. Um... And then you have uh, guest guitars, you know, get, guitars come in and play and stuff. Uh, Jerry Groom is a guitarist on this. And I'm telling you, man, it's a fantastic album. I'm, I've never really been into jazz fusion a lot, maybe a little bit of jazz, but it's a phenomenal, phenomenal album. Um, and it's a rarity. And I love it. I absolutely loved it. And yeah, dig it, man. Now, this is the second album I'm going to talk about quickly is I absolutely adore this. This was gifted to me. Cold Blood. What an album. Oh, my goodness. I tell you. Linda, what was her name? What is her name now? Pinsky. Linda Pinsky. A Pinsy. Pinsky. No, 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 it's a K. And it's a Pinsy. Pinsa. Pinsa? Pinsy. I don't know. All I can tell you is that she's not exactly Janice Joplin, but that's a good thing. Because she would have, uh, suddenly she was, she, she, she was, sounded too close to Janice. She would sound like she was copying her. The blues and the jazz in here, she, it's a little jazzy. Hint of psychedelia. What a great San Francisco band. What a great band. And I've got another album that I haven't listened to yet, but I'm going to. I mean, I absolutely love this album. And I want to thank the person, and he knows who he is, that gifted this to me. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. And I'm indebted to you, man. I really am. Next thing. Like I say, I show this to uh, Sandy as well. Synth Fighter. Gray Slick. Paul Cantor. Little baby shine on the front. And this album is in really great shape. Sorry, Eric. And what I didn't know because I played, well, I went and played this one. I heard the other one I have is kind of beat up a little bit, but it's not too bad. 
a little scratchy. This is not. But I open this up, and lo and behold, what did I find? This one has the booklet. Little baby China. And the artwork on the inside is done by Grace Slick. Unlike some people around, you know, in the BC community, I can't pull the, do it like that unless I do it backwards. I don't think I'd be able to do it that way either. Let's get the lyrics. But this is a fantastic psychedelic album. I mean, it... It is fantastic. <coughs> and this is a kind of album... As well as a cold blood in the backwater that I will listen to again and again and again. It, it is, and it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful to be able to do that again. You know, uh, to find music, new or old, that you can play over and over again and still enjoy it you know I've got some stuff that I've, I'll play once and like you know it's eh, you know it's it's okay but there's other stuff like this and all the other ones I just showed you and my Mad Dogs English one and Coop and stuff that I can listen to over and over and over all my Black Sabbath blah 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 blah, blah. you know you know what I mean and it, it's great to find to find Stuff that I didn't know about and be able to enjoy it. It's great, man. And uh, on another note, uh, my wife and I found out that there's going to be a limited edition of Alice Cooper Schools Out with the panties. I think it's coming out in May. I think my wife said. Um, we were talking about it, and she goes, Well, I like to get it. And I said, then order it. Let's not do like we did with Detroit Stories and wait and wait and wait and not get the box set. We wanted to get the box set. She was waiting and waiting him and hog. I understand money's tight, but should have got it. And now it went from whatever the price was. 65 bucks up to 180 bucks now. So I said order it. Order, order the schools out. Do it now. And she did. So in May, I think it's May, May or April, I can't remember, but we're going to be getting it, okay. and when we get it, I'll show it to you, and it's going to stay fucked up, and I'll play the old one. So, what do you think? Do you like to sit like this? I mean, I can lay back on my funky 70s burnt orange couch. Have Harry up front. I got my little. Look at Harry. Da, da, da. That's my vinyl style. What do you think, man? You like it better like this, or back in the? Or would you just see me get hit on the head? You want to see? me to get hit in the head and I'll go back on the other side man I don't care I'll put a holy bar or something up there I don't know but yeah I just wanted to do a quick you know I'll do a video and you say hi and you know talk a little bit keep my ugly mug out there and I brush my beard this time I didn't do it last time I was ragged yesterday so well it's a stoner Here's Harry, the man of the hour, saying, later, Jack.